What's going on with y'all, man? Welcome back to the last episode of The Last of Us, Season 1. There are nine total episodes. I double-checked. Without spoiling myself, obviously. Okay. And apparently this is the last episode of the first season. Luckily, Season 2 has already been cleared, and they've already started recording it, uh, according to Google. Um, so that's cool, you know? Uh, I, for one, definitely am, am enjoying it uh, very much. This adaptation from the video game, you know, they're they're staying true to it, but they're also making slight changes here and there to make it an actual TV show, you know? You know, funny little thing, actually, I, I'm going to mention this real quick. I actually recently watched The Hunger Games, the movie, just because me and my girl were bored okay we were bored we wanted to watch some shit so we watched all four movies we binged them okay and you can tell okay the movie was okay the movies were okay right it was good it wasn't like crazy like 10 out of 10 though right they were good but i can just tell that without even reading the books because that's where it came from right the hunger games came from the books I can already tell the book was probably way better because there were so many scenes in the Hunger Games that I felt were were empty without narration, right? There's no narration in Hunger Games, which I, I think would have made it a thousand times better. Um, but because there was no like voice in the background saying like Katniss Everdeen's heart was thumping as she hugged Peter for the for the last time. You know, the, 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 there should have been some voice like that in the background to make scenes like that more powerful. Okay, um, so without even reading it, I already know the Hunger Games book was a thousand times better than than, than the movie. Okay, now for this instance, the I I I say that to say this: the Last of Us TV show is. Um, adapting the game to the TV show just so well. It's so good. Because like I said, there are so many, a lot of the levels, a lot of the scenes that I'm seeing in The Last of Us, I remember vividly from the game, right? Because it's hard to forget some of those scenes. Sarah's death, just, just the last episode, the fucking crazy guy, okay? The fucking, what is he? Pedophile, cannibal, uh, cult leader. I mean, uh, does it get any worse <laughs> than that guy? You know, um, you know, Joel almost dying, um, Ellie hunting. You know, there's so many little scenes. The 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 street le the, the the sniper street level, the clickers, the bloater. You know, there's so many little things that I remember from the game that um, they made sure to have in the TV show, and they're doing it so well, right? But you know, obviously in the game, your POV is always Joel or Ellie. In the TV show, what they've changed to make it more like a TV show is we're not always going to be in Joel or Ellie's point of view. Because the TV show, you got to be multiple point of views. So they have, uh, you know, Tommy's brother. They have these other characters, Marlene, you know, wh whoever, uh, uh, Henry and Sam, right? They're setting up these other little side stories and these other characters for us to see through the, you know, through, through how they're living, you know? And, that, and, and that's what makes it a good TV show, in my opinion, right? It's already good as it is as a game, but uh, the way they made it into a TV show, very good. Chef's kiss. You know what I'm saying? Very good. Very good. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to a season two, very much so, right? But in any case, we are still here on season one, the last episode, um, of season one. And the last episode of this episode was season, was, uh, episode eight. Uh, and pretty much, um, that episode was, uh, yeah, that episode was definitely, <sighs> that, that was a stressful one. I mean, Ellie in the clutches of that of literally one of the worst humans that you can create, you know, and it, it, see the last of us is different. Instead of creating a bad guy that has like superpowers, super strength, telekinesis, uh, you know, can bend time, right? Instead of making a, a person like that, or just a huge walker or a huge zombie, the last of us decided to make a villain that was an actual like 
this dude probably exists somewhere in the world. They made him a cannibal. They made him a pedophile. They made him a cult leader and get, made him a narcissist. <laughs> they made him, you know, a small man complex. You know, whatever uh, traits you want to give him that just, you know, just make him a bad person. You know what I'm saying? Not small man complex. Uh, God complex. Sorry. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, just literally one of the worst dudes you can think of. Put him on paper, put him in the show, and um, yeah, you can uh, also, I, got, I, got, I, got, I definitely got a shout out to uh, both, uh, obviously, Be Ella, Bella Ramsey playing Ellie is killing it, but the guy that played the terrible dude, um, very believable, very believable. You know, you gotta give props to him. I know we all hate him. I know we all hated Joffrey from Game of Thrones, but you gotta give props to the actors for being able to portray such hate hateable characters you know it's not, that's not easy right so i definitely got to give him props um and of course when he was you know when he was doing his, his 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 thing um seeing bella ramsey's terror in her face uh very believable too so again super good casting for the last of us as well which really makes it another even greater of a tv show you know what i'm saying the casting just fucking A plus all across the board reminds me of the of the Marvel movie casting for the most part at least, um, and just great, just amazing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and yeah, I looked it up. There are nine episodes total in season one. We are at the ninth episode. Um, I again, I played the game. I kind of know what to expect here and there. I will say though, I have not played the second game. And I think I'm going to hold off on playing the second game for when I finish the second season. I think that's better as just, you know, as just a reactor. So everything that I see can come to me like as a surprise. You know what I'm saying? Um, speaking of the game. So obviously after we watched this, this episode, I plan to do a gaming stream of The Last of Us Part 1. The most recent version of the first game. I believe it's called, I believe there was, so here, here's how it is for those of you that, that, that don't know. The, the first game of The Last of Us was made three times. The original, 2013, then they made a remastered version, okay, a few years later. And then the most recent one is called The Last of Us Part 1. And that one has the most updated graphics, it has the smoothest gameplay, and is considered the best version of the first, of the first part of, uh, of, of the game. So I plan to play that one, the most recent one, which came out a couple years ago, I think. I plan to play that one this Saturday, this Saturday at uh, 12 p.m. PST. Uh, and it will not be members only. I know I said I was going to make my gaming streams members only, but that after conversing with a few people and just thinking to myself, like that sounds a little too greedy. So instead my gaming streams on Saturdays are going to be not members only. That just seems a little whack right uh so yeah they'll, they'll be totally to the public so if you guys want to tune in for that make sure you check it out again i will be streaming the last of us part one game um this saturday at 12 p.m pst should be a great time i'll I, I don't know i don't know whether to buy the pc version or the ps5 version i have both so uh whatever is it's best optimized for uh but but i'm excited for that you know I think that'd be a great way to cap off the first season. And then again, when season two comes around, we finish that, play the second game, do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, anyway, that's what we're doing. Um, I know I, I know my intros sometimes may be a bit long. I'm sorry. I mean, what, when I'm when I'm really into a show, I, 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 I got to, you know, uh, it, it's passion. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I love watching these shows and I, and, uh, and I feel like uh, giving feedback is a part of that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, anyway, enough talking. Let's get into it. Oh, of course, before we start, uh, the full version of this can be found in the Patreon link down below. Also join the Discord link down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Also, anyway, anyway, The Last of Us Season 1. Episode 9. Let's go. No. Okay. Holy shit. That is terrifying, and she's about to give herself a self-seat in section. 
C-section? Ah! Good job, bitch. <laughs> god damn. Oh my god. And oh my god. The baby got born at the same time? Jesus. That's Ellie, I assume. Bro, they showed the umbilical cord? Damn, they're going all out. <laughs> they're showing the umbilical cord, the fluids? Oh my god. <laughs> As you can tell, this brings a smile to my face. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ashley Johnson, the voice of Ellie in The Last of Us games. Well done. Wow. Making her the mother of Ellie in the TV show. Again, another example of how they adapted it. How they changed that little, oh, so good. Yeah, that is the voice of Ellie in the games. Ashley Johnson, who's also part of Critical Role, a very famous D&D &D game. <laughs> she needs to be fed, and I... I didn't want to nurse her. I cut it before I was bit. Before. Is that true? I don't think that's true, though. Is that why she's immune? Is because the bite? Damn. So the, they're trying to make sense of why Ellie's immune. Is because she was born during a bite. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pretty cool. I can't kill you. Please. No, please. Please. Damn. I don't please. blame her. I don't blame her. That's a lifelong best friend, right? I mean, can't... I, I definitely can't. I'm thinking about my, my, about my best friend right now. I will not be able to kill them if they become a fucking thing. At least not at the, for the first, like, I don't know. Not right away. Nah, bro. So I'm starting to understand. Marlene... takes Ellie to Fedra to protect her, right? Bang. She's stronger than me. Cause I'm 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 starting to wonder why <clears throat> Ellie ended ended up in Fedra, but it's, it was probably Marlene's choice because that's where she would be safest. Really, if Fedra is the most resourceful group, they're not gonna kill a little girl. Instead, they're gonna train her. You know what I'm saying? So, I guess that was a good decision. And also, she, I'm sure she learned a few tricks. Ellie. Wow. You hear me? No. You guys see that? Well, I found this and bro, bro, bro. She literally Big looks like ten years RD. older. <laughs> From when uh they first started. Because in these nine episodes, they gone through some shit. Some death, some close calls, some clickers, some bitches, some assholes. Oh, man. How did they do that? It's got to be a makeup trick. Maybe I could teach you. I bet you'd be great at it. <laughs> you want to learn how to play guitar? Ellie. Hmm? Oh, yeah. That'd be great. Again, that's from the game. That she talked about that in the game, her wanting to play guitar, which she actually, in fact, did. From what I from what I understand, this is definitely the last episode. I feel it. All right, here we go. Yeah, just like in the game. Right now, Ellie is sad because, I mean, their journey is almost over. And she doesn't know if Joel's going to stay or not. He stayed once, but who's to say he might stay again, you know? That's why she's, like, all somber right now. Boost.
One, two, up. Nice. I think that was without the use of um, stunt doubles too. At least for Joel. I want to assume it's for Ellie as well. Actually, they might have used a stunt double for Ellie. <laughs> that was a little dangerous. A fucking giraffe. <laughs> but that's good. A sign of life. And there's flowers. So, there are people here. That's what that means. A fucking giraffe, though. <laughs> of, all the, of all the animals they picked. Uh... The moon. I'll follow you anywhere you go. But there's no halfway with this. We finish what we started. That is very mature. She's right. The, the mission was to get her somewhere so they can save the world and convert, you know, sign, science her blood to heal everyone. <laughs> that's, that's the goal, right? <clears throat> okay, here we are. And I guess the reason why they're so like down right now is because that's that's not an overnight thing making a cure so they would have to keep her in the lab for longer than they would want to you know so that's why it's kind of eerie right now they're starting to realize what's really at stake what they really have to do There's no story. Sarah died. And I couldn't see the point anymore. Simple as that. Here it is. So time heals all wounds, I guess. It wasn't time that did it. Wow. Fuck. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Don't be no bitch, boy. I'm a grown ass man. <clears throat> this is good. These two are good. Good characters. Okay. What happens after every super happy scene in entertainment industry? We all know, right? Something really shitty. <laughs> Shit's about to hit the fan. I don't know how. I'll give it a five. Five out of ten. Shit. Shit. I don't like being right. Sorry, y'all. I hate to be that guy, but they really flashbanged an old man and a little girl without hesitation. See, now instantly Joel and Ellie know what kind of people we're dealing with. So here we go. Oh, I'm excited to see what's about to happen. <laughs> Ooh. It makes normal cordyceps think that she's cordyceps. It's why she's immune. He's going to remove it from her, multiply the cells in a lab, produce those chemical messengers. And then we can give it to everyone. But that means... Cordyceps grows inside the brain. It does. Oh boy. Oof. So I do understand. I'm the only one who understands. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I have no other choice. I do. Ooh. Joel time! <laughs> Come on, Joel. So basically, TLDR, too long, don't read. We can save the world 
but Ellie dies. That's what happens. Unless Joel has some do or say about it. Oh shit, I'm hype. <laughs> How are they gonna do this? The fuck are you doing? Keep walking. I said keep walking. Bitch. Oh. Oh. Where is she? Fuck you. I don't have time for this. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, y'all, here we go. You know what time it is? It's Joel time. 56-year-old Joel against the Fireflies. Some ex-military, probably. And some armor, bulletproof vests. No mercy. Dude, look at him. He's just... Uh, this is no mercy. He just wants to save Ellie. Oh my god. Just killing these dudes with no emotion on his face. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Unhook her. How did you get in here? I said unhook her. I won't let you take her. Oh, shit. Unhook her. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh my god. Again, dude. The actor, this Pedro Pasquale guy, he's killing it. Oh my gosh. And this is exactly how you felt in the game, too. If y'all have played it, y'all know. You want to save Ellie more than you want to save the world. That's how it is in the game. No matter how many people you kill, she's going to grow up, Joel. And then you'll die, or she'll leave. Then what? How long until she's torn apart by infected or murdered by raiders? Because she lives in a broken world that you could have saved. Maybe. But it isn't for you to decide. Or you. 20 years later, he's still a broken man, bro. Fucking crazy. Where are my clothes? Raiders attacked the hospital. I barely got you out of there. We'll find you some new ones on the way. Are people hurt? Yes. Yeah. It's like... Of course he was lying to her. But it's like she already knew. And it's like she knew that Joel went on a fucking rampage. For his own selfish reasons. He even killed Marlene. Now, I ask y'all. What would y'all do? Would you save your daughter? Basically. Or would you save the world? I don't know. I don't know. That's why we're not in Joel's position. <laughs> You've just come after her. <gasps> it's really that ruthless? Holy shit. You see, that's the thing. I don't remember it being that ruthless in the game, dude. Another little change that they've done, too. In the game, Joel was more emotional. He was, like, gasping while he was fighting everyone. <laughs> but the way they portrayed it here, he was just, like, he entered the fucking zen mode. He entered the zone of killing, and he just, boom, boom, slick, slice, boom, boom, emotionless. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Do you know why I think she'd like you? Why? Because you're funny. I think you would have made her laugh. Hmm. Anyway, I bet you would have liked her back. Yeah, bet I would have. It's a really good ending. The ending of this game was so fucking good. And this ending is really fucking good, too. <laughs> Shit. Well done, man. So 
swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. Oh shit. I swear. Liar. Okay. There it is. Okay. Good job. Good job, 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 good job. All right. Let's talk about it then. Let's talk about it then. Um, wow. <clears throat> wow, wow, wow. First thing I want to mention, I can't wait to play the game. <laughs> I'm playing the game this Saturday. I'm going to stream it on YouTube. Make sure to check it out. 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'll be streaming uh, throughout the whole day, pretty much. We're going to be playing The Last of Us Part 1. That's exactly the name of the title. The most recent version of the first game, the original. Boom. I'll be playing that this weekend. Uh, anyway. Also, season two, season 2 has been cleared. I don't know when that's going to air. Probably sometime next year, I assume. Uh, but we, will, of course, I'll be watching season 2. This shit was fucking crazy. So. The Last of Us, huh? Season 1's over. What do we think? I think we should, we should talk about first because I feel like it's the thing we should mostly be, be talking about is Joel's decision. Right. It was it was black and white. One side, we sacrifice Ellie, make the cure, heal the world, save the world. Easy. But Ellie dies. Okay? Or or in Joel's case, a man, a 56 year old man who 20 years ago lost his daughter to this cordyceps fungi bullshit and hasn't been the same since. I, the way he portrayed it in the show, he has disassociated from himself for the last 20 years. You know, shutting out all emotions not being able to feel anything probably drinking a lot probably drugging a lot because he had to every time he closed his eyes he probably saw his daughter to this day until ellie right so it's kind of fucked up but in a sense ellie is his new drug does that make sense because now joel can't imagine his life without ellie he needs Ellie way more IMO that Ellie needs him, right? Because Ellie did carry some shit. She did carry low key on the way here. Joel did his, his, his grown man thing for sure. But, you know, Ellie stitched them up. She saved his life. You know what I mean? And, you know, she's gritty. Do the gritty. Okay. Um... So, yeah. But the thing is, whenever I see, that's how you know it's a good ending. It's it's pretty much open-ended. It leaves us, it leaves us, the audience, or the gamers, <laughs> to be like, damn, was that okay? You know, it's not a happy ending. It's not a, it's, it's not a sad ending, though, because it's a happy ending in the sense that the two characters that obviously we liked the most perhaps um lived but you know it, it's a bad ending in the sense that to get here we had to do some inhumane things you know what i mean and all of it was joel it doesn't make it right just the way Here's the thing, in the game, like I said, in the game, you're the one playing Joel, right? And uh, I, ju I just remember the gasping and, you know, the, the more emotional crying facial expression in the game. And then I, you know, I, I expect... What, 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 what I was looking most forward to in this last episode is was the hospital scene. Was how Joel was going to bulldoze and shoot his way to save Ellie. That's what I was looking looking forward to. Remember when I said, it's Joel time. That, that, that's what I was looking forward to. What I thought they were going to do. This Here's what I expected. 
I thought they were going to play some, like, I don't know, some Limp Biscuit in the background and some rock music and have him just rookie roll and run or let the bodies hit the floor. I thought they were going to do some hype shit, you know, while he was, or some DMX. <laughs> I don't know. I thought they were going to play some hype shit while he was killing everyone. But no, they played some sad ass, somber, slow, lo fi in the background with his emotionless ass face. And honestly, that was kind of badass. He felt absolutely nothing when he was killing people. Because he had to save Ellie. He had to. If he didn't, then he would have died too. He would have died right there. You know, Joel's new purpose in life, he found a new purpose. It took him 20 years, <laughs> but it's Ellie, right? And uh, when you find your purpose like that, uh, I can imagine it could be pretty damn hard to let it go. And maybe you, you wouldn't even want to keep going if it, if you lose it, you know? <sighs> and that's Ellie to Joel. <clears throat> now it is, right? But it doesn't make it right. Just the way he was ruthlessly killing everyone, including Marlene. That last, you'll just go after her. Bang. No hesitate. It's crazy. Again, amazing acting. Such good acting, dude. Holy. <laughs> I, I believed every single thing that happened. Oh, my God. Um. So what now? I have no idea. Obviously, they keep living on. They keep having that father-daughter relationship. And hopefully, neither of them die. Hopefully, it truly stays the last of us. Meaning, the last of the both of them. You know? I, I, I The most ideal, I guess, uh, satisfying, happy ending in their eyes would be Joel to die of old age. And Ellie to, you know, continue his legacy through the te his teachings and... Uh, honoring him through living. I don't fucking know. Having your own family? Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> but again, I have not played the second game, so I actually don't know what happens after this. So that's why I'm I'm really excited to to wait till season two. And then after, after season two, I, I will try. Here's the thing. After I finished The Last of Us Part 1, which I'm playing this Saturday, by the way. <laughs> after I finish playing that, I know just as a gamer i'm gonna be like i have to play part two <laughs> but i will try my hardest to hold back until i finish the season two of this tv series i'll try i'm not no promises but i'll try i know i'm gonna be so fucking tempted okay um but yeah hey anyway i think i should you know so what are we rating season one dude honestly this shit is fire a lot of the episodes were nine out of tens Eight out of tens. There were uh, sure there were uh the Tommy episode was a little dull, I guess. Um the episode four was also a little dull, but dude, seriously, all the other episodes are pretty damn good. Episode one, Sarah's death, episode two, Tess's death, episode three, Bill and Frank, fire, episode four, meh, episode five, Henry and Sam, episode six, Tommy, meh, episode seven, um, Riley, fire. Episode 8, the fucking cannibal pedophile cult leader, fire. <laughs> and of course, this episode. So honestly, all the ep uh, most of the episodes, uh, 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10s. I, and and I, I don't think I'm exaggerating on that. This shit was really good, you know. It's, it's, um, I mean, nowadays we're so spoiled to Netflix and Hulu and, and HBO Max and Showtime and Disney Plus that you know, we, we kind of we, we kind of only watch shows that every episode is good. And I can on and I can confidently say pretty much every episode in this was not only good, but it was fucking fire. Right. So well done. Season one. Good job. Great job adapting it from the game to the TV series. You know, I kind of should I play the game? Because I was making a lot of comparisons while I was watching it and it made me appreciate the TV series more. So maybe I feel like I should play the game before I watch season two. Should we do that? I think we should do that, bro. Also, it will be a nice continuation of my gaming streams, which will be which will be on Saturdays from now on. You know what I'm saying? So um, pretty much expect um, 
expect uh, you know uploads of TV shows and anime from Mondays through Fridays, and then Saturdays would be the gaming streams, and then Sundays would be the rest day. That's pretty much how my schedule is at the moment. So yeah. Anyway, amazing dude, amazing, amazing. Uh, can't wait for season two. Can't wait to play the game. Great cast, great characters, great story, great music, good music. That that was definitely underrated. Good visuals, good camera work. I mean, shit. What was my what was my favorite episode? I was honestly, I liked the Henry and Sam one. Um, big fan of sign language. One of the most useful things. One of the most useful languages. IMO. Okay. Um, I liked Henry and Sam's dynamic and I would have loved for them to stay with Joel and Ellie and obviously the way everything fell off fell apart was very shocking um, so I think I liked the Henry and Sam episode the most yeah I think I I, I think I'm, I'm good with that answer um, let me know what you guys think what was your favorite episode of the, of the first season and um yeah i was gonna say what are you looking what, what, what are you most looking forward to but then that'd be spoilers and i definitely don't want that so don't spoil okay um but yeah man i it's not much more i can say if you if you guys want to watch the full version uh, of, of this you can go ahead and scroll down in the patreon click on the patreon link it's over there the full episode full no 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 edits no cuts you know what i'm saying you can watch it there other than that join the discord also link down below while you're at it like comment subscribe hit the bell uh for the algorithm other than that man shit i'm out of here okay and i guess so what what show is replaced i guess i should talk about what show is replacing the last of us i'm not sure if i'll be replacing this with another show because i'm already still watching the walking dead i'm still watching um uh i'm still watching better call saul I'm still watching Boruto weekly and um, I'm also watching another I guess once uh, I'm also watching One Piece fuck is that a leak <laughs> yes I'm watching One Piece I've watched two episodes it's amazing I actually like it so much that will be released like next month or some shit after Better Call Saul is done um, but yes, so th I'm already watching a bunch of shows, so I don't think I'll be replacing The Last of Us with another show. If anything, it might be Attack on Titan. I have to catch up to Attack on Titan because I know the final, the final season, the final part of the final season is finally happening. So if anything, I might do that. That sounds about right. Yes. Anyway, so yeah, expect that. Attack on Titan should probably be next. But more importantly... If, if you're watching this, that means you are definitely a Last of Us fan. And if you are a Last of Us fan, make sure you check out the gaming stream this Saturday at 12 p.m. PSC. I'll be playing The Last of Us Part 1, the game. And I'm excited. I'm a gamer. Okay, I'm a gamer first. <laughs> anyway, uh, other than that, thanks for watching, y'all. I truly appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and shit, I will either see y'all this Saturday or I'll see y'all whenever Season 2 hits. All right? Joel Ellie. I'll see y'all, man. Peace.